Hi and welcome to this auto martial art presentation for an absolutely stunning 2006 Audi A3 with S-Line spec. The car as you can see is presented in a gorgeous hue of metallic silver with a host of cosmetic upgrades to really make it stand out from the ever popular model of the Family Super Saloon. Visually, it's in absolutely brilliant condition. The metallic silver paintwork really coming through and that quality that Audi always insists on is still persistent in this model. As you can see, the vehicle has been upgraded to complete gas discharge xenon headlights and gas discharge xenon fog lights, making for brilliant illumination in the evening time as well as having the car stand out from the ever popular car model and giving it a bit of personality. The front grille has been colour coordinated in gloss black with the S-Line badging. The tyres are in fabulous condition as you can see a huge amount of tread there not even sure exactly how old these are, but an uh, immense amount of tread. The Audi factory fit alloys with the red calipers painted behind it. Again, just adding to the distinct look of the vehicle. Clear repeaters, tinting throughout the vehicle, all legal. And nearly jet black from the outside, but with huge visibility from the inside. Again, those S-Line badges and the colour coordination throughout the vehicle from the rear of the car again a very distinctive shape being a 2006 of course the car has benefited from being a facelift variant those rather distinctive lights even the back balance has been painted gloss black just to add to the sporty character of these very very competent vehicles third high level brake light reversing camera which of course will be demonstrated and that two litre engine giving not only a huge amount of torque but great fuel efficiency as well it's about 110 120 dirhams to fill the car and gives you 500 odd kilometers really a brilliant vehicle for any family or young executive to own huge load area with the subwoofer being fitted in there as you can see all the gubbins and toys easily removed if you're not into the loud sound that it produces original headrests included as well and little storage compartments again spare tools and original tire even the spare wheel has been sprayed gloss black warning triangle a very competent car here you can see the number plate lights have also been upgraded to the um, LED style. The car really does turn heads, particularly in the um, evening time when all the illumination is on. From any angle, the silhouette of the car is unmistakably an Audi A4, yet it does have its own unique character with this metallic silver bodywork and great touches. When you open the rear doors, again, a very clean, well-proportioned cabin, three rear headrests there. Of course, they raise up and down, giving you the safety that you'd expect from the German manufacturer of Audi. The first aid kit and the armrest, which can be pulled out the way to give you a wider seating area in the rear. Here you also have the upgraded rear screens in the headrest. When you pop a DVD into the upgraded multimedia system, you will get the DVD play on the front and the rear two screens, but simply touching navigation on the front screen will keep the DVD playing on the two rear screens for your rear occupants, and the navigation will then come up on the front screen. And we'll go through that major upgrade as I jump into the driver's seat in a second, brushed aluminium trim throughout the vehicle with the black door cards, electric windows 
absolutely everything works on this vehicle. It really is in very, very good condition. There is a small hole on the drive, passenger seat there. And apart from that, not much more to mention. Um, the glove box has come away at the hinges, so that would need some attention. But again, just a very, very nicely specced car. The highest you can get in these vehicles, bar the leather trim, which some people actually prefer without on these Audis to ensure that during the summer months it's not scorching hot, and during the winter months it's not hot and cold. So again, lots of toys to play with on this car. Jumping into the vehicle, that well-built Audi noise comes from the door as you close it off. You've got electric windows all throughout. That will give you an indication of the tinting from the inside of the vehicle to stop those UV sunlight rays coming in and add a bit of character to the windows. They all, of course, fully operate. This vehicle doesn't need anything doing to it. In addition to that, you've also got the electric mirrors, that being the drivers, switch it across, and that then the passengers. All the interior lights, including the front cabin one, have been upgraded to LED styles, giving a great illumination in the evening time. This aluminium brush trim really does come into its own, contrasting with the black interior. You've got the headlight switch there with positioning, including the front and rear fog lights. The vehicle has had a upgraded S-Line steering wheel at a huge expense put in. The Triptronic paddle shifters um, are not connected. You can connect these up. It's not a huge job, but it was more a cosmetic um, enhancement. And again, once those are connected, it will all sink into the multimedia. Again, not a huge job, but not done. So something that the new owner could decide to do. You've also got the cruise control there. Simply press it in and it switches on and then engage your speed, reduce it, cancel it and resume it. A great facility for anyone using the vehicle to travel up and down the Emirates. Of course your indicator stalks and your wash wiper system. As you can see all the lights come on and go off on this vehicle as per required. Temperature does not overheat, doesn't take water, doesn't take oil. Again, very distinctive, nice bright illumination during the evening time, which can also be reduced via these buttons. What you can see there is that it's already synced up with the Bluetooth on my phone into the multimedia system, which again we'll go through in a second, and good for 260 kilometers, and the car has a very low 139,000 kilometers. AC is via the digital dual panel climate control system. Now, of course, you can't feel it, but you can certainly hear the vents there coming through very loud, powerful, ice cold AC um, front ashtray, which of course isn't used as the current owner doesn't smoke. You've then got that beautiful, silky smooth. Audi gear shift which not only has the full auto up to D you can also shift it to the right and then drive it as a manual with a plus and minus or drop it down into the S mode and the car really does transform it's it's an incredible um, difference between the normal drive and the sports on these cars a huge amount of um, torque coming when you engage the sports and as mentioned previously this steering wheel at a huge cost has been upgraded but not connected if it's connected up you'll also be able to use a paddle shifters um, to go through so that that's something that the new owner could decide to do um, armrest there um, and the upgraded multimedia Sorry, just pressing the um, rear screen there. Very handy during the sun. Of course, the obligatory cup holder there and hazard warning light. Now, this multimedia system, which connects up to the subwoofer, really is a um, choice item 
when you put the car into reverse, you also get the um, reverse camera engaging there, showing you your surroundings to ensure that it's clear for you to pull off any manoeuvre when you put it back into um, park or drive of course it will go back into the screen as per desired you've got a huge amount of modes on here as well that will give you the radio and as you can hear very very loud there's a huge amount of um, toys that you could play with here including the setup per category radio being just one of them switching through as mentioned previously you can pop in a dvd in fact you can even put in a um, sd card i believe and it will play your movie and images off there again it will go into music off your sd card or your bluetooth off your phone to make driving so much safer you could scroll through photos you've got an aux cable in the glove box as well as an um, usb stick you can also engage the TV element on here, an aerial is required, not a big job, but as you can see, it's um, the facility is built in, it simply needs engaging, and of course that's for your Bluetooth phone, it simply pairs up, and then you can have safe driving with your hands-free kit, as well as your Bluetooth music coming through all of the elements and simply pressing GPS of course will bring you back to this screen. The car is really in excellent order. Um, looking now just for a very lucky new owner to take possession of this beautiful Audi A4 2 liter S-Line spec with the upgrades of the tints, the color coordinated front grille wheels, painted calipers, S-line badging, subwoofer, rear screens, multimedia including radio, DVD, SD reader, USB reader, Bluetooth, sat nav, reversing camera, all the interior and exterior lights including the, even the number plate lights have been upgraded to LEDs, very low mileage at just 139 kilometers, drives perfect and we look forward to any of your inquiries for any test drives or your queries on the vehicle and wish you all the best in the ownership of the new vehicle to whomsoever it goes to. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this presentation by Auto Emotional.